Welcome to Linus Tech Tips at CES 2013. Our trip to the show this year is powered by Corsair, maker of quality PC components and peripherals. Our trusted storage partner is Seagate Technology, and our trusted networking partner is Linksys. And rounding out the LG booth, we have what I specifically requested that we be briefed on and have an opportunity to film. This is the EA93. This is a 29 inch IPS monitor, and what's special about it is the fact that it is more than one Linus forearm plus four Linus fingertips in length. That means we are looking at a 21 by nine aspect ratio. This is perfect for enjoying your fully widescreen content without black bars. So this will be very exciting for anyone who wants to watch just, well, yeah, super widescreen content on their computers. Now, what excites me about this is not even just that, but from a productivity standpoint, this is a game changer. Not only can you use their virtual display manager to split it into sort of two 17-inch equivalent screens, it also accepts dual inputs. So the one right here in front of me has taken one input on one side from a computer and another input on the other side from an LG smartphone. So you can actually multitask in a way that goes beyond just using your computer in two different ways. It uses IP, an IPS panel, which means that, I mean, come on guys, for a screen this wide, if you're not using an IPS panel, by the time you sit in front of it, the edges are going to look off in terms of their color. TN simply wouldn't work. So, also from a productivity standpoint, something like this is, again, game changing. If you use Excel a lot, if height isn't as important to you and you work with very long spreadsheets, this could be an enormous time saver because you don't have to contend with the bezels that you have to deal with with a multi-monitor setup. Don't miss any of our CES 2013 coverage and don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips. Thanks for watching Linus Tech Tips at CES 2013, powered by Corsair, Seagate Technology, and Linksys.